So here's the bike that was purchased by my client slash friend. Um, well, it was gifted to her. And she's like, can you assemble this? I said, I never have before, but sure I can. My name is Ms. Fix It. It took forever. <laughs> so here is a view of some of the parts. Hopefully watching this video will help you not take as long. Feel free to speed it up wherever you want. Um, but yeah, tons of parts, guys. And I'm showing you there the seat, of course. A lot of this is self-explanatory, so I'm going to kind of uh, cut through a lot of things. You can see the bar. I always like to take all my parts and lay them out kind of in front of me to see what I'm going to be doing. Um, so that's what I'm doing at first here. All right, so here we have all of the parts laid out. You can kind of see where some of the parts are going to go, the backrest, the seat. But believe me, there's still a long road ahead. <laughs> I do like that all of the screws are labeled clearly as far as where they go. And um, that really does help with assembly. Having a clear cut idea as to where to um, put each screw. Because otherwise, you know, they're all mixed in there. Sometimes you have to ID them A, B, C, and it's so complicated. Okay, so the first step is putting the stabilizers on it there's one that says front one other says the back i'm showing you the instructions because for the first time in a long time i actually had to be looking at these instructions a lot and i cracked myself up because usually i don't bother a lot of things i've done it so many times before i'm like yeah whatever but this had so many parts guys so there are these screws with the nuts i'll show you they <laughs> they line through a line through they line up where they say they're going to make sure you put the front on the front and the back on the back i couldn't quite figure out what was the front of the bike what was the back of it refer to a picture or use this video save yourself some time because i ended up having to reverse where i put them yay <laughs> but pretty basic the screws um go through on the other side the nut and bolt like tightens up so there you go So now we are going to tighten up those nuts. It came with everything you need, really. Um, I only had to use a few of my own tools, which makes it so much more convenient. Everything clearly labeled and exactly where you're going to use each piece. So honestly, anybody could do this. It's just going to take you a while because there's so many parts to assemble. So once we get those nuts um, tightened up and stabilized from the front and the back, um also making sure of course that you read the instructions as to how to assemble the main body it was just a matter of unfolding it and then screwing it in place as you see here i'm gonna um adjust it accordingly just follow the directions just as they say Now to the part of putting the pedals on. It took me a while to realize that the instructions that they had printed on there meant that they want you to screw them in counterclockwise, which is so counterintuitive um, for the right. Oh, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's labeled as such. So just follow the labels and don't do like me wondering why it won't screw in 
<laughs> because <laughs> you're going the wrong way. So now to start the seat assembly, this part was a lot easier, just following the instructions, matching up the screw holes with the appropriate screws. Once again, I love how they labeled and separated them in that package, the screw package that I showed you earlier. So it's pretty much hard to mess this up. Okay, now we've assembled the seat. You're going to install it carefully because there are wires coming out that need to communicate um, with the controller that you're gonna install in a few. Then we're going to put the back on the seat. Once again, super simple because these instructions are here. Follow the instructions. Every now and then, you gotta do that. Um, Your seat is assembled and so now it's time to put the handlebar on <gasps> dun, dun, dun. very simple once again line up the nuts and bolts tighten them down with the assigned tools don't force them make sure you try to make sure it's lined up perfectly before you get the allen wrench in there because you don't want to strip it and end up having a round hole instead of square because you will never get it out and this bike is supposed to be uh, transportable so you want it to be disassemblable if necessary it also folds and rolls so be careful with following those directions to make sure it does what you want it to do so this is the control um, panel it's going to be mounted on the bike connecting all of these wires very simple color coded snap them in together but the tough part for me was getting that tension um, ring to line up inside the arm of that controller so there is a box in the back you need to make sure you uh, open that up so you can access that tension ring and you're really gonna have to follow the directions and try to get your finger in there to make sure that they'll be able to control the speed of the bike um, that tension really does matter so once you mount that once again carefully not pinching any wires then you are almost home free. You hear me? The control is on there. Soon we're going to be testing it out.
hello she's electric subscribers a quick hello and thank you for being loyal subscribers i don't know if i've mentioned recently to hit the uh notifications bell because i find a lot of people are like what you put out a new video i didn't see it so try to remember to hit that and thanks for being awesome supportive i also have my kofi information down there um buy me coffee and what else be sure to comment and let me know if there's something specifically you want to see me doing want to know more about as far as a kayak and, or more cooking in my little kitchen let me know let me know talk to a sister so have a wonderful day week weekend wherever you are bye